up till now we have looked at modeling and simulation with respect to building blocks of modeling and of simulation modeling and simulation go hand in hand so any anomaly or a mistake done either in the modeling world or on the simulation side could result into undesirable or unexpected results an example is if you want to model a communication system the communication system should ha have the capability to incorporate real channel modeling scenarios and if you want to implement it the corresponding simulation tool must provide a support to implement the modeling parameters any weakness or any inconsistency between modeling and simulation could result into poor uh, goal seeking in this module we shall understand what are the generally understood programming mistakes and modeling mistakes the simulation inaccuracies which are caused and the misleading results that could result into subsequent wrong prototyping let's recap before going further into into the detail is there any requirement to perform simulation simulation is best performed when it is needed for example when the counterpart of simulation that is the analytical modeling is either not feasible it means it has become too complex to realize or it is too simple when the analytical model is either too complex such as if you want to perform the analytical or mathematical modeling of a communication scenario involving underwater to over the water surface communication this involves very complex phenomena that are dependent upon the communication medium in such case analysis would yield very complex mathematical equations and these mathematical equations might still not be able to capture the real world intricacies on the other hand if you look at the analytical model which are overly simplistic for example if you want to establish a relationship between the number of packets which are being transmitted and the queue occupancy or the number of packets residing within a queue it's look it looks like a linear relationship but if you look at it again you'll notice the simple relationship of a line that is y is equal to mx plus c does not actually make sense because it is over simplistic so simulation makes sense when the system is either too complex to handle or the system is overly simplistic the simulations are also sometimes used to augment the analytical part the equations so if we look at the scenarios in which simulation can be done away with could be when the analytical model gives good enough representation of the system when the simulation is simply not feasible either there aren't enough number of computers to perform the simulation or the simulation runs are going to be extremely long or the scenario that you want to simulate is so overwhelmingly large that the simulation environment is not scale scalable enough to meet that with a decision that we want to go ahead with the simulation it is time that we look at the mistakes that we generally experience while performing modeling and the simulation these involve inappropriate levels of details that we pass on to the simulation implementation a wrong choice of programming language would have a disastrous effect on the simulation goals 
an improper initial condition that we define for our simulator might be unrealistic or might lead the system to an unstable state and the system never gets on to a real world steady state behavior. The simulations that we do would have very short runs, so short enough that we are not able to capture a sustained behavior of a real world system. The randomness that we implement in our simulators through random number generators would be unrealistic. The simulation time and the time to actually simulate are two different things. It might be possible that the simulation we want to implement is so complex that it takes an unacceptable time to implement. The simulation that we want to implement does not have clear cut goals which results into inefficacy of this exercise. If we do not have enough number of able people to handle the diverse kinds of activities to do the modeling and the simulation and the testing, simulations wouldn't prove useful. If the end user or the domain expert is not taken on board, we'll have a problem in getting the simulations for further use. And lastly, it is not possible to implement simulation if we do not manage it well using some kind of project management strategy. The simulation could also accrue inaccuracies either because of the fact that the simulations have some programming error that is semantic or syntactic error or there is a possibility that the assumptions that you've made are so overly simplistic that the simulations aren't of any good. For example, the link budget abstraction which is done and the radio link modeling which is normally ignored lead to simulation failures. 